In today's video, I'm going to show you all about a refractometer, how to use it and how to calibrate it to ensure you've got good, accurate results. Hi, I'm Richard from The Beginner's Reef and I'm here to help you succeed with your aquarium by providing you with great information, awesome resources and really helpful tips. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have new videos coming out every week. And make sure you stick around to the end because I've got a great beginner's tip that you may find really helpful. So this video is all about a refractometer and you can use these in your saltwater aquarium, you can use them for home brewing, you can use them for testing electrolytes in batteries, you name it, there's a lot of uses for these great tools. But for us, we're just gonna concentrate on the reefing side of things and they are a really, really good investment and especially if you're a beginner, it's definitely want to be one of your first purchases. They're really cheap, you can pick them up for 35 to 50 bucks. Uh, you can find a link below to the ones that I recommend on Marine Depot, and, and it's gonna be a really, really good investment. So for the saltwater aquarium hobby, a refractometer is basically a device that's gonna measure how much salt is present in your water. And it's a really cool little gadget and it's really simple to use but it gives you really really accurate results now some places on the forums you'll see people using hydrometers and they are just not very accurate you get the swing arm hydrometers they can get bubbles stuck under the arm and they can make them wildly inaccurate you can get ones that float and then people have trouble reading where the scale is whereas with these there's no denying it's just a clear cut blue versus white and where the line is is exactly where the salt reading is so to use these they're really simple all you need to do is get a sample of your aquarium water and in the box that you'll get with it you will usually get cleaning cloth set of instructions a pipette for putting the water onto the uh, visual slide and an adjustment screwdriver. So to use it, it's really simple. All you do is you take a sample of your aquarium water, put it on the glass, close the lid down, look through the eyepiece, you point it at the light, you adjust the focus and where the blue and the white meet is exactly where the salinity is in your aquarium. It's that simple. Then once you've done, you just take your cloth, dry it off, done. That's it. It takes literally two seconds. I have mine sitting right by my sump and every day when I'm down there, I just check it and it's, it takes five seconds, it's nothing. Now, the one thing that you want to make sure you do to maintain these to be accurate is you want to calibrate them often and they're really easy to calibrate. I calibrate mine every month and it's never ever off. And the easiest way to do that is by getting a refractometer calibration solution. Uh, you can find the link below to the one that I recommend at Marine Depot. It's really easy to use. It's basically just a standard solution and it even tells you right on here it's set for 35 parts per thousand and basically you same as your um, sampling of your water you basically just put a few drops on the slide close it up and look through the eyepiece now this one is slightly off this one is reading 36 parts per thousand. So what I want to do is I want to calibrate this so it reads 35 parts per thousand. And it's really simple to do. Here you have a black cap. It's just a dust cap. You just turn it, take it off. And the screwdriver that comes with it, there's a little screw in there. So you just stick the end of the screwdriver into it. Look up to the light and you adjust the screw. And you can see the blue versus white moving and we just adjust it so it's bang on at 35 parts per thousand which is 1.026 which is 
perfect for what your salt water aquarium needs to be. And that is it. That is all you need to do with these things. Super easy, really great investment, and you will never ever regret purchasing one of these and it will last you for years. I've had this for oh, 15 years. It's looking a bit grubby now, but it still works really, really good. Now, you wanna make sure you calibrate it often because you are going to be adjusting your salt level to make sure that your aquarium stays bang on at 1.025, 1.026, whatever you, you like to keep it at. Um, but accuracy is only as good as the tool that you are using to measure it. So keep your refractometer calibrated. If you drop it, check it, just get your calibration solution out and just calibrate it, make sure it's still reading right because if your, cal if your refractometer is off and you start going dosing your salt wrong, then it's gonna start affecting your fish and corals and potentially kill them if you don't catch it in time. So that's how to use and calibrate a refractometer. Super easy, takes two seconds to do and it's gonna give you really good, reliable results that you can then take and adjust your salt levels to suit every single week. So the beginner's tip for this week is for your refractometer. And sometimes you may have trouble trying to discern what the reading is. Sometimes the line might be a bit blurry. And one of the best tips that I can give to you is if you find that that line is blurry, just look, point through the eyepiece Right, it's a really bright light. So just take it right up to a light and then just move it up and down a bit until you find it as clear as can be. Now I find it as clear as can be when it's pointed directly at the bulb. And that way you can get a really clear, definitive answer for what your salinity ratio is. So I hope you found this video helpful. We've got new videos coming out every week, so make sure you check out these two videos here. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.